Good evening, everyone. My name is Monshumi Yadav, Assistant Librarian, School of Law, Brenwa University. It gives me an immense pleasure to start this auspicious occasion by heartily welcoming everyone. Today, Brainware University Central Library, Department of Media Science and Journalism, Department of Multimedia, Department of English and Literary Studies, Pharmaceutical Technology Library, School of Law Library, and Institute of Nursing Library are going to present a lecture on exploring Hiki, Bengal Gazette, and invention of print media in colonial India. It is a tribute to James Augustus Hickey and to commemorate the birth of his Bengal Gazette in India. Now, I would like to call Shubham Chatterjee and Shivli Mondol to call the next part of the program. They are the first year students of Media Science and Journalism Department of Brainware University. Shubham and Shivli, over to you. Thank you, ma'am. Good evening, respected Vice Chancellor, sir, faculty members, and the audience present. Today, we all have gathered together to celebrate the occasion of 29th January. 29th January is the day when, 242 years ago, the first printed newspaper, Hickey's Bengal Gadget, was published by James Augustus Hickey. It gives me an immense pleasure to welcome and all present here to witness and to witness some of the scholarly thoughts and opinion about today's event. Hickey's contribution to print journalism is such that it cannot be undermined even in 21st century. I am pretty sure that our audience will today leave the webinar with some of the scholarly thoughts and opinions about James Augustus Hickey. I will have Vice Chancellor, Sir Kunati to say a few words and start the event. Over to you, Shankar, sir. Thank you. Good evening, everybody. We are going through a pandemic situation. I do hope that all of you are physically and mentally OK in this pandemic situation. Uh, I'm really feeling honored to address the gathering in connection with the lecture on Exploding Hiki, Bengal Gadget, an Invention of Print Media in Colonial India. The lecture has been organized jointly by different departments of Brainware University, namely the Central Library, Department of Media Science and Journalism, Department of Multimedia, Department of English and Literary Studies, Pharmaceutical Technology Library, School of Law Library, and Institute of Nursing Library. At the very outset, on behalf of Brainware University, I extend my heartfelt welcome to all the participants. I am grateful to the speakers who have spared their valuable time in order to enrich the participants in this area of huge contemporary interest. I also congratulate the organizers of this important lecture. Further, I do that the lecture will provide an ideal platform for motivation so as to develop attitudes for translating innovative ideas in practice. It is expected that professional interaction among the participants and the speakers will lead to the success of the objective of this lecture. Moreover, I like to mention that momentum produced in this context 
needs to be enhanced in the future by organizing such talks frequently. This will pave the way for sharing of professional knowledge among more participants. I don't feel like lengthening my address anymore. Finally, to hope you success this talk and a sufficient enrichment of the participants. We shall do well and safe during this pandemic. Thank you. Oshunko Dhonubha, sir. আপনাকে আপনার প্রাপ্ত বক্তৃতার মাধ্যমে আমাদের প্রত্যেককে অভিভূত করার জন্য আজ ভারত তথা এশিয়া মহাদেশে প্রথম প্রিন্টেড নিউজপেপারের 242 তম জন্মবার্ষিকী সেই উপলক্ষে ব্রেনওয়ে ইউনিভার্সিটি সেন্ট্রাল লাইব্রেরি পক্ষ থেকে আমাদের প্রত্যেকের জন্য একটা ওয়েব পেজ তৈরি করা হয়েছে যা আমাদের জেমস অগাস্টাস ফিকিন বিষয়ে অনেক অজানা তথ্য তুলে দেবে আমি আমাদের অনারেবল ভাইস চ্যান্সেলর স্যার থেকে অনুমতি চেয়ে নেব অনুরোধ করব ওয়েব পেজ টি পাবলিশ করার জন্য ভাগ করেছি হিকিস আর্লি লাইফ বলে তারপরে হিকির পাশিং হাউস এর জন্য তিনি কি কি করেছেন আর অরিজিন অফ বেঙ্গল গেজেট কিভাবে বেঙ্গল গেজেট এসছে তার যে একটা শর্ট হিস্ট্রি রয়েছে সেটাকে আমরা করি সিমোট করে করা আছে এখানে ফুল পেপারটা আমরা প্রোভাইড করছি যারা জানতে গোটা ব্যাপারটা তাদেরকে আমরা মেলে ছুটে এছাড়াও এখানে রয়েছে আমাদের ব্রেন আর ইউনিভার্সিটি লাইব্রেরি যে ফেসবুক পেজটা রয়েছে সেখানে যেতে পারবো Thank you so much for this page publication. I'm pretty sure. Motushi, I mean, especially, so much for your thanks, sir. And I'm sure you can tell me that you're going to be a total day. Motushi, I'm going to be a total day. That is a splendid job. That is a splendid job, you know. So it is, it is something to be reformed to it. And, you know, other guys should follow accordingly. So how to get it done, you know, whatever be the ideas that may but in your mind that needs to be translated into practice and this is this this cites an example how translation to practice of innovative ideas is possible support korche sir shobai thank you i am congratulating the concerned stakeholders who have implemented this absolutely you know it is a it is a it is a collective effort you know no guy is capable of you know doing this alone all alone we or she was supposed to every nook and corner and that is being provided you know that i i i i do i do appreciate the collective effort and the concerned stakeholders in the process thank you sir thank you sir thank you so much thank you so much for this page publication i'm pretty sure that our audience will leave this this page page with certain insightful thoughts and it will definitely broaden their knowledge dear audience hold your nerves 
presenting before you all a short animation prepared jointly by the Department of Animation and Multimedia, as well as the Department of Media Science and Journalism, themed as Papa of Indian Journalism in English version. I would request the Central Library to present the animation, animated video on Papa of Indian Journalism over to Central Library. আমি এগুলোর অনুমতি In 1774, with many dreams and ambitions, James Augustus achieved world fame and moniker of But the of the was different. to seek a reversal of printing. Initially, to establish a doctor, later on, he took up a loan and got into the ship business. But the natural disasters brought to his life a different kind of disaster. He brought so much money to his creditors that he was incarcerated. Here is where a new chapter begins. In 1777, he begins more on his printing press from here. And this is the beginning of Gold's first printing house. On 29th August 1718, the King Gold Gate on the Capital, General Advertising, was published. Like today, it was also a Saturday. This is how the first newspaper of Kolkata and India was published. Because people went for a little over two years, in March 1750, the case was shut down legally. But now it has more than the importance of Hickey and his friend. Possibly, possibly today, when they visit him, he is tribute to the Papa of Indian and his news. What a lovely presentation, what a lovely animation of Papa of Indian, on Papa of Indian journalism. I express my heartfelt thanks and gratitude to all the members who were concerned behind making this anime, animated video and presenting before us all. Now I would like to request Dr. Shakti Shom, head of the Department of Media Science and Journalism to enlighten us to some of our valuable words. Over to you, ma'am. Thank you so much, Shubham. A very good evening to everyone present here in this event today. Honorable Chancellor, sir, my respected colleagues, and my dear students. Today, we are here to commemorate the contributions of James Augustus Hickey and his Bengal Gazette. On this day today, on 29th of January, 1780, James Augustus Hickey began the publication of Bengal Gazette 
and it is considered to be the first printed document as a newspaper in India and Asia. His newspaper was important not only for provocating, it fought for the freedom of expression of India during era. And it has been inspiring the journalists for centuries to maintain activity, accuracy, truthfulness in journalism. I hope the ideas of Hickey will keep on enlightening the journalists, the newsmakers of the coming days. With this hope, I look forward to my journalism students who bear the potential to awaken the masses, bring social changes, and give voice to the voiceless. Hope Hickey's principles will ignite the minds and essence of the young journalists and the budding journalists. I welcome everyone to this event and convey my thanks especially to the Department of Library for organizing such an enriching and enlightening event with all of us, and especially with Sir N.G. Waltis. Thank you so much. Safe everybody. The Shokoler Prio shot up the Mamma Oshal Haran Kothaguli in Matu Mamma Proteki Shambri Tholam. Onik Onik Donobad Mamapnake Amadir Monte Kichu Bishish Kun Boshoto, English and Literary Studies Department at HO, Madam Ash Uposin Hote Parin, Tabuni Nija Shufokamon Ebong Shubhit Nanation, Tajun Oshil Sonobad, Madam K. Akunami Animation and Multimedia Department at HO. শুভজ্যোতি রায় চৌধুরী স্যার কে রিকোয়েস্ট করব আমাদের দর্শকদের উদ্দেশ্যে দুই এক কথা বলার জন্য স্যার थैंक यू শিউলি গুড ইভিনিং টু অল দোজ প্রেজেন্ট ওভার হিয়ার অন দা 29th ডে অফ ফেব্রুয়ারি 2022 দা ডে রিমাইন্ডস আস অফ দা পাপা অফ ইন্ডিয়ান জার্নালিজম জেমস Augustus Hickey. Augustus Hickey began publication of Hickey's Bengal Gas on 29th January 1780. Today, on 29th January 2022, we assemble here online on online platform to commemorate the birth of the first newspaper of India named Hickey's Bengal Gazette. Now Hickey's Bengal Gazette was a significant step in exercising the right to free expression. It turned out to be a giant leap in the colonial India's print media. Following this, some India's Some Indians were influenced to start newspapers of their own. Hickey's printing office became the training ground for those Indians who went on to establish their own papers. India's first vernacular newspaper was Samachar Darpan. It started its publication in 1818 from uh, Rampo. In 1821, Raja Ramohan Roy started his own Shambhat. Later on, many other newspapers came into being, like Bombay Samachar, Times of India, Amrit Bazar Patrik, Hindu, and so on. So we see that Hickey basically started the uh, practice and uh, establishment of new. I, on behalf of Multimedia Department of Brainway University, salute the Papa of Indian journalism for the strength he has shown to establish Bengal Gazette, keeping it a neutral medium of expression and continuing its publication even when he was in jail. I congratulate the library department of Brainway University for organizing this program on in coordination with Department of English and Literary 
studies department of media science and journalism and department of multimedia to commemorate the inception of hikis bengal gazette thank you oshongkho dhonnobad sir apnake apnar kotha gulo amader ke nuruddin sathe program theke egiye niye jawar utsaho ar amader moddhe ekhuni eshe uposthit hoyechen amader sudipta bhattacharji nam nam you are welcome प्रस्तुत कर अनुरोध करब पापा अब इंडियन जार्नलिजम शीर्षक एनिमेशन टी बांगल् प्ले हो over to central library छापाखाना संबंध प्रकाश सूचना शनिवार विश्वविद्यालय Thank you so much for this wonderful presentation in Bengali version. 
dear audience who do you think shubham ami ektu interrupt korchi amader modhe sudipta madam join koreche to uni jodi kichu boktobbo rakhen tahole amra shombiddho hobo sudipta madam apni jodi kichu ektu bolen hello amar ajke shobai ke namaskar amar ajke nijer kichu bola chilo na ami amar আমি এই বিষয় নিয়ে এক্ষুনি একটা ক্লাস থেকে বেরিয়ে এসেছি সো আমি খুব খুশি যে ব্রেনবার ইউনিভার্সিটি আজকে এই সেকেন্ড অ্যানিভার্সারিতে হিকিস বেঙ্গল গেসেটকে সবার সামনে তুলে ধরছে অ্যান্ড আই লুক ফরওয়ার্ড যে বাকি প্রেজেন্টেশনগুলোর দিকে হ্যাঁ থ্যাংক ইউ থ্যাংক ইউ আমি innumerable thoughts and you all have innumerable questions into your mind to put an end to all your thoughts and un- in innumerable questions i would like to re- i would like to introduce before you all today's guest for the event honorable sp- honorable guest as well as the speaker for today's event dr andrew dr andrew otis is a recipient of fulbright fellowship in 2013 He has received his PhD in journalism from the University of Maryland. Dr. Ote is also the author of Hickey's Bengal Gadget, the Untold's first newspaper. Among several scholarly articles and opinions published in several reputed platforms, Dr. Ote's important contribution includes his publication in BBC News, Viewpoint, what India's first newspaper says about democracy cutting across all the geographical and time barriers and taking up time from his busy schedule dr otis has sent a video recording conveying all his scholarly thoughts which will today enlighten and enlarge the knowledge of our audience in exploring hiki much about james augustus siki and his contribution to indian journalism I would like to convey my heartfelt thanks and gratitude on behalf of the organizing committee to Dr. Andrew Opis for taking out his valuable time and sharing his thoughts among us. Thank you so much sir for your scholarly opinion. I would like to request the central library to play the recording of Dr. Andrew Otis. Over to the library of Brainway University. All right, hello and welcome. My name is Andrew Otis and um, I'm going to present what I think is the most remarkable newspapers of the 18th century. It's known as Hickey's Bengal Gazette and it was named after its founder, James Augustus Hickey. It was printed in your city of Calcutta for two short years from 1780 to 1782 during a time when the British were beginning to conquer India. So let me take you through what happened with the newspaper and give you a of the work I did to discover the story. So I'm going to a book on the topic and discovering the beginnings of India's journalism history is a journey that took me from the United States. Here's the Morgan Library in New York to India, beautiful archives in Germany, many archives in England, and back to India in many times. A total of five years search and writing on this topic, including a lot of very sweaty train rides and many archives in India. Now, this is the back room of the Madras University Library Archive. I was invited by a professor at the university. And what I want you to focus on here is not these stacks of books that you see, 
what these bound volumes of these papers here. These are invaluable newspapers from the 19th century, and they're quite literally rotting in the archives. So this is the more extreme example, but a lot of what I dealt with when I tried to discover what happened with India's early newspaper history, how to deal with the archives such as this one. I also had the opportunity to visit many of the local district records. This is in Tentulia in Bengal, Western Bengal, near the Bangladeshi border. So there's some misperceptions that I want to correct before continuing. And the first is that there's no surviving image of James Augustus Hickey. The closest thing we have is his signature here. Hickey's Bengal Gazette was founded in Calcutta in 1780 and the capital of British Bengal. It was quickly becoming one of the most important cities for international trade in Asia. It was the center of the British Empire in India. And specifically, Hickey's Bengal Gazette was founded in Radha Sar, in the center of the city. So, these are the very first pages of India's first newspaper, January 28, 9th, 1780. Why is this special? Well, first, this revolutionized how information was received and transmitted. Previously, everything written. And now, what do you notice? Well, first, there are illustrations and, of course, no photographs. Technology for that comes in the next century. And second, generally, no advertisements on the front page. A surprise if you read the Times of India every day. You also might notice that there are a few headlines. News back then was more like letters to the editor, like news and opinion all mixed together. Finally, you might notice that the title of papers actually hit you Bengal set or the Calcutta Channel Advertiser. So it's a gazette of information and also a place where things can be advertised. You might also notice something unusual with the letter F here. This is actually not, it's an S. You can tell because it has a nub only on one side. It's actually called a labial S or a, a long S by fashion later in the 18th century. Here's an example of an article on our pages. It's about war in America coming by letter via Aleppo and Syria. The news has to travel almost half a year to go halfway across, uh, almost a year to go halfway across the world. Here's news more local to India about a coast. Here are the third and fourth pages of Katie's cut. You'll see there's more commentary here and practical information, such as this notification of ships coming and going from the port to Calcutta. There's also advertisements on the third and fourth pages, such as this at owner of Calcutta's library, an exceedingly good claret, claret's a uh, type of wine. There's even some poetry, such as this poem on opinion, a poem on joy and happiness. Uh, so Hickey, when he was printing this newspaper, he has a staff of assistants. The paper was printed once a week, and it cost one rupee. That's about the same as three books. It was four and about 22 by 36 years. Circulation was about 400 copies a week, although it was often read in groups and clubhouses, as was common for the time. Hickey was an Irishman. For the first 30, 40 years in India, in fact, all newspapers were run and operated by Europeans with some Indian assistance. It was only later where um, Indian owned newspapers came to the fore. So, the editor of the newspaper, Hickey, he had been orphaned when young, had been a printer. Uh, he practiced surgery and did a number of different job, jobs before moving to India, looking for a new career. He sailed to India in 1772, following this path. It was only that took nine months. Upon landing in Calcutta, Hickey started a business. However, the business failed 
when his ship was damaged in a storm. By October 1776, he was in jail for debt. At this time in history, debtors have to pay for their own food, water, and rent in jail or else starve. So he needs the way to make money. How does he make money from a friend? And he makes types and he hires carpenters to smuggle printing press inside of the jail cell. And by 1777, he had actually founded the first printing press in Calcutta, all while from within jail. Now, some other printing presses that actually been founded, but um, in Bengal, but not in the Calcutta for itself. This is an example of some of the very early printing in India. It might be the earliest surviving printed document in North India. It's an advertisement for Chinese goods. And it only survives because someone found it stitched into the binding of another document. And it was found in the School of Oriental and African Studies in London. I actually came across this myself. All right. So let me take you through the newspaper for a little bit. While um, much of the writing in Higgins Gazette was probably written by men, there were a few exceptions. This is an article by an Anglo-Indian woman known as Old Nell. It's three columns, one, two, three, above the fold. That's the most important place in the newspaper. So what does Old Nell say? Well, she said, she's explained that she's an Anglo-Indian and a green grocer, which means she sells groceries. But she's also out of an Irish man and an Indian woman. She writes, though my skin is as what well you are fine, ladies, it is as plump and as sleek as the best of them. She writes, you must know, Mr. Jakey, my husband is a gardener. I am therefore up at daybreak, plucking my roots, washing them for market. From whence I return, generally by nine, but sometimes sooner, I eat a hearty breakfast, not a slip slop tea. After going to the domestic fairs, our little cottage, whilst my husband is plowing and working in the grounds, our dinner is generally made of wholesome curries. Or the poultry of our yard, and Kanji again serves us for supper. Thus we enjoy sound and perfect health. So she's talking about her life, and Hickey gives her a form to do so. I'll share with you one more article. This is about a fire in Calcutta, and fires used to be a major problem in, in the city, mostly because uh, buildings and roofs are made out of thatch and jute. So this article writes, it's actually more of an opinion, this article writes, to the benevolent and powerful, be it known that 15,000 inhabitants are since the late fires in extreme distress. The infants wailing in their mother's bosoms increase the calamity beyond the power of language to describe. Think upon this scene, the patrons of the unfortunate. Exert your influence their nakedness and give them habitations. So Hickey is using this newspaper as a bring public awareness to us. So why is Hickey's being involved is that interesting? One of the things Hickey wrote about was against Governor General Warren Hastings and his wife Anne of corruption. Specifically, he accused one of Hastings' aides of soliciting a bribe uh, to protect his paper. So this is 1780. Hickey accuses more Hastings as aid of civil senior bride. And he writes, what man can be safe where such schemes are practiced? In response, Hastings forbids Hickey mailing his newspaper at all, and he authorizes the search and seizure of Hickey's newspaper. Quote, the newspaper was found to, quote, disturb the peace of the settlement. And is no longer permitted to be circulated. From this point onwards, Hickey began sporting a new slogan on the newspaper. The slogan is a weekly political and commercial paper, open to all parties, but influenced by none. Um, this might not seem like much, you know, it's not like a really 
obviously political slogan, but there's more to it. So bear with me for a second. One day I was visiting a museum in Washington, D.C. And this museum is a museum. It's all about news. They have drawers and drawers of old newspapers from 200, 300 years ago, all across the world, but mostly from the U.S. I just happened to pull one of these drawers out. I saw the same slogan, open to all parties, but influenced by none. This is in the Massachusetts um, Spy, which is a newspaper based on an American state in Massachusetts. And I saw the same slogan again on many pro-independence, pro-American independence newspapers. Virginia Gazette, open to all parties. So if you're familiar with politics, this is quite remarkable. And you'll notice that Hickey appears to have copied the slogan from the Americans, open all parties, influenced by none. 1771 in America, 1781 in India. This was an anti-British empire slogan run by American patriots who wanted independence from Britain. And I'm sure by using the slogan in India, its meaning would not have been lost on East India Company leadership. So Hickey also published some other articles, and it gets more and more radical as he accuses Warren Hastings of more corruption. This one is addressed to the quote, inhabitants of Bengal, countrymen and friends. It's a bit ambiguous, you know. Does he mean Europeans only, or does he mean Indians as well? Who does he mean by countrymen and friends? So, anyways, he writes. The main purpose of government is that government shall consult the welfare of the people. And when that and the people shall obey the condition, and when that condition is neglected or violated, the people no longer are bound to obey. There you have it. All right. There's one article that really got Warren Hastings' attention. In it, Hickey accused Warren Hastings of launching numbers of wars to conquer the Indian subcontinent. And Hickey writes, it is reported that the great Mughal is seized with a fit of despondency and political despair, and that he, meaning doctors, are of a perennial spring is out of order. And this is sort of the 18th century way of saying um, that Hastings doesn't have manhood. He literally cannot run this, he's incompetent. Um, as you can imagine, this didn't go well. If he was sued for libel and he was found guilty after a dramatic trial. And one of the reasons he, uh, the newspaper shut down so easily, actually, um, was Hastings had bribed some of the judges of the Supreme Court. This is the Chief Justice of the Supreme Court, uh, Elijah Impey. This is Judge Robert Chambers. Uh, Chambers had also been bribed uh, about five black rupee. And so how do I know about these bribes? Well, there's a third member of the court, a man named John Hyde, and he was actually an honest judge. And Hyde also kept notebooks written in secret code of fellow judges accepting bribes. So when I was living in Calcutta, I came across these notebooks and I found and you can actually see them, they've been published online. And they're also at the Victoria General in your city. So I really encourage you to go down and take a look. So I found out that no one had written about this code before. And I was like, okay, this is important. It's all surrounding the trials involving the What's going on? So I found a professor in New Jersey, and she's an expert in cryptology. And she's able to decipher what Hyde was writing. And so here Hyde writes, before we went into court today, Sir Elijah Impey told me at my house that he had accepted an appointment to Warren Hastings, i.e. he accepted a bribe. Pretty cool stuff for deciphering like ancient code, we're trying to figure out what happens with India's first newspaper and uh, some of the day-to-day -day research that I do. So I spent many months at the National Library in Hollywood. Uh, reading through my books. There's about 20,000 pages.
pretty tough work. And I also spent many months at the High Court of Calcutta and took months to gain access to the archives there. And when I was finally approved, I had to get permission each individual document. Um, there's no catalogs. So it's a very difficult place to do research. Well, while I was in Calcutta, I came across a copy of the East Bengal Gazette that did not exist. Um, I thought at that time, did not exist anywhere else in the world. It is Bengal is that extraordinary. This was an edition of the newspaper printed the day before he, he was to go to trial for libel. So I think he remained in jail uh, for the next four years, 1781 to 1785. And yeah, he kept printing the newspaper within the jail cell. Uh, you might be asking how we did this. To be honest with you, I don't have any evidence how. I suspect he probably devised some sort of system with assistance from the outside to help print the newspaper. And if he continued to defend the freedom of the press in India, continued to publish slogans like this one, Vox Populi, Vox Dei, it's Latin for the voice of the people is the voice of God. He also continued to emphasize the hypocrisy of some aspects of British rule in India, such as this particular article. Hickey writes, we committed a successful forgery on a native of Bengal, and we gloried in it. Um, forgery at that time was a capital offense, which means you could be hung, hanged for forgery. So here we say, a native of Bengal, sorry, a native of the country who knew nothing of English laws, hanged for crime of which I Yet, five was made a peer in England, and we committed in Bengal the same crime which we hung, hanged at Nandi Kumar. We celebrate Clive, Clive as Britishers. We celebrate Clive as a man who conquered India, as a man who was able to bring all his wealth from India to England. Yet, it's he committed a crime, forgery, that's the same crime that the British hung Nandi Kumar for. So he's pointed out a sort of hypocrisy in, in the British legal system. Finally, in March 1782, the Supreme Court seized his printing press, silencing the paper for good. This, this was the last paper printed on March 30th. What's the impact of Higgins being offset? So the immediate impact is that actually Warren Hastings, as you might remember from your history lessons, was recalled to England to be impeached. And there are 22 charges of impeachment covering everything from um, soliciting bribes to wars of aggression. And many of these first abuses of power were first printed in Higgins being offset and in the press in India and Britain. So the publicity helped furnish parliamentary investigators, if not with evidence, support for the accusations. Sorry. There we are. Chief Justice Elijah Impey, remember he's one who said Barabbas is also impeached. Uh, like he's actually also acquitted ultimately. After leaving jail, he attempted to restart his newspaper, but it was not a success. And in 1802, he died on a ship in Guangzhou, China. Um, his reasons for being on the ship are unknown, um, but I speculate they had something to do with trade between China and India at that point, which, which was becoming more, um, more profitable. So for two short years, Hickey's Bengal was set worked to expose corruption and abuse of power, speak truth to power, which is one of the most important aspects of journalism. So we should care for, for we should care for those reasons, but let me offer you some more reasons why I think the story is important and why you really should take uh, take deep interest in the newspaper history in India. First, many Indians follow the Hickey's newspaper 
you might remember from the very beginning of this presentation, I said that Europeans University for the first 40 years, 1718. So the first Indian newspaper was called the Bengal Gazette. And I suspect that it was called the Bengal Gazette as a direct homage to Hickey's Bengal Gazette. Unfortunately, I don't think any copies of this newspaper, no collection survive. Now, the Bengal Gazette was founded by a man named Ganga Kishwar Bhattacharya. This is interesting. Ganga Kishwar Bhattacharya worked with Paul Ferris. Paul Ferris, here's the top, was one of James Augustus Hickey's assistants. And when Hickey died, Paul Ferris bought a lot of Hickey, a lot of the old collections that are named and shared these, likely shared these with Ganga Kishwar Bhattacharya. Paul Ferris was a direct associate with Bhattacharya and with Hickey. So there's a direct transfer of knowledge Hickey through Ferris and Bhattacharya about these papers. And eventually this transfer of knowledge will lead to more modern newspapers. So you can see the tradition and heritage of journalism in India from all the way back to the very beginning chapter two uh, today. I'm going to give you a second reason why I think we should care about this. I mean, you might look around you and you might think um, there's so much social media in our lives now where, you know, we're always on our phones all the time. And the social media can be addictive, it can be divisive, um, but it can also be democratizing. Now think about that for a second. It can drive people apart, but it also allows you to express your voice and your opinion where otherwise you might not have had a platform to do it before. You may recall I mentioned Old Nell at the very beginning of this presentation. Old Nell, an Anglo Indian woman, a poor woman, a green grocer. She was able to express her opinion and her views and her life because of a newspaper, because of Hickey's Ben Gauzet. And if she had not had Hickey's Ben Gauzet, I may never have known about Old Nell. I would never be able to tell you. That. So in the 18th century, a newspaper is very similar to what we consider social media now. I'm not saying it's the same thing, but it's an idea where ideas, it's a place where ideas flourish, um, but all it's misinformation and division. So that's what a newspaper represented social media persons now. And let me give you a couple when you think about freedom of speech, your freedom to express yourself in ways that the government can't censor, or at least not censor. Um, you know, where does where do those freedoms come from? Where where do those norms, and traditions, and ideas come from? Free speech and expression. And these come from your history. They come from people who came before and argued for them. I think he's been called because that's one of the places where we started as one well, public platforms of opinion that opposed government and had a free free speech or tried to. So think about that. That's one important reason. Let me give you a last reason um, to, to think of, to care about the story and the learn about Hickey's upset. Um, through this newspaper, I showed you a very little glimpse how people in the past lived. You know, think about their lives and think how yours might not actually be that different. Right? And it gives you a little insight into the people in the past and how they existed. So, I want to thank you for joining this talk. Uh, it's been my pleasure to tell you about Hickey's Bengal Gazette. I hope this gave you a bit of an introduction to the newspaper. And if you have any more questions, please don't hesitate to ask me or email me or call me. You can find my information easily online. And if you're curious, I published a book about Hickey's Bengal Gazette. I tell the whole dramatic and really interesting story. You can buy this from your local bookstore or online. So thank you very much again. Um, thank you to the organizers for having me here. It's my pleasure. And again, feel free to reach out to me at any time.
ডক্টর কথা অনেক অজানা তথ্য জেনে যেভাবে সব ভৌগোলিক বাধা পেরিয়ে উনি শুধু আমেরিকা থেকে আমাদের নিজের বার্তা পৌঁছে দিয়েছেন তার জন্য কোনো ধনী যথেষ্ট নয় আমাদের উদ্দেশ্যে বলছি যদি এই সংক্রান্ত বিষয়ে কারোর কোনো প্রশ্ন থাকে আপনারা সরাসরি ডক্টর ওটিসকে জানাতে পারবেন তার মেল আইডি আমরা আপনাদের প্রোভাইড করে দেব ডক্টর ওটিসকে কৃতজ্ঞতা জানিয়ে আমরা আমাদের পরবর্তী বক্তাকে দেখাবো যিনি আমাদের হিকি অ্যান্ড ক্যালকাটা প্লেস সম্পর্কে কিছু বলবেন আমাদের পরবর্তী বক্তা ব্রেনওয়ে ইউনিভার্সিটি লাইব্রেরি অ্যাসিস্ট্যান্ট মিস মৌটু পাল মৌটুসি ম্যাম নর্থ বেঙ্গল ইউনিভার্সিটি এবং বিদ্যাসাগর ইউনিভার্সিটি থেকে যথাক্রমে ফিজিক্স এ বিএসসি তারপর অলরেডি অ্যান্ড ইনফরমেশন সায়েন্স নিয়ে যাদবপুর ইউনিভার্সিটি পর जार्नल प्रकाशित विषयबस्तु हल कलकता पब्लिक लाइब्रेर दब्लिक लाइब्रेर फर इंडियन এবং আরেকটি রোল অফ সোশ্যাল মিডিয়া টু এনহ্যান্স লাইব্রেরি সার্ভিস আর কে স্টাডি অফ ব্রেন ওয়ে ইউনিভার্সিটি কলকাতা ইন আইভিসি এল আই এস কনফারেন্স পাবলিকেশন এরকম একজন গুণী মানুষকে নিজেদের মাঝে পেয়ে আমরা সত্যি আপ্লুত আমি মৌটুসি ম্যামকে স্বাগত জানিয়ে ওনাকে অনুরোধ করব হিকি অ্যান্ড ক্যালকাটা প্রেস সম্পর্কে ওনার লেখা প্রেজেন্ট করার জন্য এবং একই সাথে আমাদের দর্শকদের জানাবো যদি এই লেকচার সংক্রান্ত কোন প্রশ্ন আপনাদের কাছে থাকে আপনারা কমেন্টের মাধ্যমে আমাদেরকে জানাতে পারেন আমরা অবশ্যই আপনাদের প্রশ্ন সরাসরি ম্যাডামের কাছে তুলে ধরব ম্যাম দা প্ল্যাটফর্ম ফল ইউজ নমস্কার শুভ সন্ধ্যা My name is Moto Shifal. I am currently as a library assistant in Brainerd University. Today, my topic is HIC and the establishment of Calcutta Press. The time was the end of 17th century. The last decade of 17th century was a historical milestone of Calcutta-centric press as well as newspaper of India. The history of world press is as as world history so i will try to bring up a small story of a very small time though it is a real story in the starting of the battle of panipat 1356 the first press was introduced in goa though it was not a result of pervasive thought it just started and after more than 200 years the first press was started in kolkata but intellectual thinks that the introduction of press in calcutta or kolkata was in fort william castle of british east india company but before this he had already established a commercial press in kolkata sutorang bola jete pare hiki sahib er ei chapakhana sutrapat এবং সংবাদপত্রের ইতিহাসে ষোলো কলা পূর্ণ করলো জীবনে কিন্তু প্রেজেন্ট ইন and with his tremendous bad luck judge gave him order to imprisonment 
जेल any such press day uh, but uh, british east india company felt the need of press for his own sake and he he also wanted to start the press so as a result he brought the press from england and got uh, 36000 rupee for the first order kolkata newer was first uh, started by william bolts though it is a handwritten newspaper and uh, philips came in uh, 1774 after bolts thrown out from india ebong ekhetre mone kora hoy je hikir bengal gater pechone ei dui mohan byaktitto ebong tatter karmakande kintu ekta bishal boro probhab chilo Hickey's contemporary lawyer, whose name is William Hickey, stated that Hickey made some own fonts for his press. And uh, within uh, 1779, Hickey debt became 35,092 sika. If you compare this amount with today, uh, today, with today, this amount is rich in lakhs. Uh, though the either the Position of Warden Hastings or the Corp British East India Company, he could only earn sixty-seven hundred eleven sika, and uh, you know, but uh, he did not uh, earn this money in that year. After sixteen years, he um, uh, got this amount, and uh, if we compare the amount, it becomes uh, eighty-four thousand rupees. and uh, this information is uh, mentioned in a book named torwali bonam kolo by uh, author uh, named sri pan so we can understand that the business of the press is dangerous but still he cannot be moralized jail khate beri ashar por kiki tai press tike radha bazar lal bazar er kache je मतलब British East India Company is Hickey's Press and Bengal Gazette in 17, and that's how it is in. But the press system, uh, newspaper of Calcutta as well as in India, underwent a significant change, which is like a milestone. जोधियो एक होतो ना, किंतु हिके जीवने एक तमोशा बिट्टा होतो ना सिस्टी करो चिल्लो. बरिशमा तत्कालीन राजनैतिक व्यवस्था चीन देश जहाजेसागर स्वीकृति प्रदान महाकाल सलिल सागरे हिकिर देह के स्थान देखते हिकी सहेब ए कर्मकांड महाकाले ग्रास परिणत हो बर बोलते मंदन सागरे उदीयमान उषा समूहेंटेशन 
Brenner University to give me this opportunity and the platform for sharing my thoughts. And a special thanks to our senior librarian, Biplav Kumar Tonjo, who constantly encouraged me for this topic. Thank you, sir, and thank you all the team. Thank you. Thank you, Motoshi, ma'am, for your lively presentation. I'm sure that our audience is today deeply enlightened and has broadened their knowledge itself with your presentation. Now I'd like to hand over to Shuli for taking up question and answer from the chat box if the audience has presented. Over to you, Shuli. Thank you so much, Shubham. Ma'am, I'm going to comment section on the question that I'm going to ask you. Ms. Paul, I have a question to ask. Bengal Gazette was published weekly or monthly? Ami Jani, it a weekly chilo. So, we did take it a weekly chilo. Journalism department director student took to the idea of the comment section. I hope, Honobad, ma'am. Personally, I'm under Kathy Kichu Proshno is che. Termuthi Holo. A quote that often appeared in Hikis Bengal Gazette was commercial pay. Open to all parties, influenced by none, which often appeared in other papers too. Does that mean that this was a copied quote? Amar mane hoy gadget shankran to je question sheta Andrew Cyber kache jodi jai sheta beshi bhalo hoy. Bang uni beshi bhalo bolte parbe ni bepar tar. Shubham. So, then you can ask. I have a question. As a personally coming from the legal background, I have one question. That is, what is the legal complications that he faced while in his process of, public, of publishing the Bengal gadget? As well as that leads to my supplementary question, that there was a constant tussle between Hiki and Warren Hastings. So, if you kindly be pleased to throw some light on that issue, our audience would be enlightened through this. Actually, Shuru Theke Etani Ekta Bishal Shamosha Chilo Karun Wadisin Maya Tokonkar, the British East India Company, represent for Chilen. So, Shekete Uni Chai Chilen, Una Toro Thekata Kichu Shangbat Potato, Jekani, Una Nami Korahabe, British East India Company, Nam Korahabe. Into Hiki, Shave Habe, Port Chilena, to Tatpole, Tasha, the Vivon, Bivino Habe, Motto Birodoto. Ebong Bivino, Jotobar, E. Pepata, Publish or Chesta Goto, Jotobari Kinto, Corona Kono, Ojuhate, legally Paras Korahoto, by legal Kitsu Habe, Take, Take, Bondo Kora, Chesta Korahote, but that Poleki Volcillo, Take into Bishal Kitsu amount, Take De Pishago, Dita Volcillo. Even Tini Prothum Jono Jotu Taka or Kotachilo, she Takata Kinto Tini Pani, Shudumacho, a British East Company Shatta Motu Biro the Jono. Among Puro Inter Time is Kotajo di Amra Babi, Tale Motabuti, Unito Solo Shotabato, E. Hishabe, Jelegatin, E. Shoma Manetta Motu Biro de Kaduni, Unigatin, and continuously at a Hoegatil. শুনো আমি একটু ইন্টারনেট করি সেটা হচ্ছে এই বিষয়ে আমার মনে হয় একটু ভালো করে বলতে পারবে বিপ্লব আমি বিপ্লবকে রিকোয়েস্ট করব যদি বিপ্লব একটু ওদের একটু এই ব্যাপারটা ধারণা দাও थैंक यू थैंक यू এই প্ল্যাটফর্মে নিয়ার জন্য এখানে বিষয়টা যেটা হচ্ছে আমার এটা আমার দিক থেকে যেটা আমি মনে করছি প্রথম কথা ভারতবর্ষে কিন্তু প্রথম নিউজপেপার আনছেন ইকিশায় সুতরাং নিউজপেপার সংক্রান্ত কোন আইন কারণ আমরা দেখেছি যে ব্রিটিশ ইস্ট ইন্ডিয়া কোম্পানি বিভিন্ন কারণে চাইছিলেন না যে ভারতবর্ষে নিউজপেপার বা ছাপানো নিউজপেপার আসে বিশেষ করে ইংল্যান্ডের রানীর কাছে বা ইংল্যান্ডের চেয়ারের কাছে ভারতবর্ষে কারণ ব্রিটিশ ইস্ট ইন্ডিয়া কোম্পানি যারা এখানে কর্মীরা ছিল তারা কেউ অধিকাংশ কিন্তু সৎপথে ব্যবসা করত না তারা অনেকেই দেখা গেছে সুদীপ্তা দির সাথে সকালবেলায় আমার কথা হচ্ছিল অনেকেই এমন কি ওয়ারেন হেস্টিংস কি বলি আর যাই বলি অনেকেই দেখা গেছে ব্রিটিশ ইস্ট ইন্ডিয়া কোম্পানি থেকে চাকরি ছাড়বার পরে যখন তারা ইংল্যান্ডে ফিরে গেছেন তখন কিন্তু তাদের ক্ষেত্রে অনেক কেস মামলা হয়েছে অনেক অপরাধ ধরা পড়েছে এই নিয়ে অনেক ব্রেঞ্চও তৈরি হয়েছে 
সুতরাং ব্রিটিশ ইস্ট ইন্ডিয়া কোম্পানি কখনোই চাইছিল না যে ভারতবর্ষের কোনো ছাপা নিউজ পেপার হাতে লেখা নিউজ পেপার নিয়ে পরে কোনো এক প্রোগ্রামে হয়তো আমি বলবো ছাপা অক্ষরের কোনো নিউজ পেপার তৈরি হোক যেটা ইংল্যান্ডে গিয়ে পৌঁছে বা যা যখন হেকি সাহেব নিউজ পেপার ব্যাপারটাকে নিয়ে এলেন তখন ভারতবর্ষ তো বটেই ব্রিটিশ ইস্ট ইন্ডিয়া কোম্পানিও দেখতে পারলো যে একটা নিউজ পেপার বলে একটা বিষয় হতে পারে যেটা ভারতবর্ষ থেকে ছাপানো হচ্ছে তাই সেটাকে কন্ট্রোল করবার জন্য কিন্তু আইন নিয়ে ভাবনা চিন্তা আমার মনে হয় সেখান থেকে একটা ভাবনা চিন্তা শুরু হয়েছিল হেকি সাহেব যদি আমি দু বছর ধরি যে তার বেঙ্গল গেজেটটা চললো অ্যাকচুয়ালি হেকি সাহেবের গেজেট কিন্তু হেকি সাহেবের গেজেট বলেও পরিচিত ছিল ভারতীয়দের কাছে বেঙ্গল গেজেট তো নাম কিন্তু আমি অনেক জায়গায় উল্লেখ পেয়েছি যে বেঙ্গল গেজেটকে হেকি সাহেবের গেজেট বলা হতো বা শনিবারের কাগজও বলা হতো যেহেতু শনিবার করে এটা বের হতো আর একটা বিষয় হচ্ছে এই নিউজ পেপারটা যখন চলছে তার পাশাপাশি কিন্তু আরো চারটে নিউজ পেপারের আবির্ভাব হচ্ছে অবশ্যই সেগুলো ইংলিশ ল্যাঙ্গুয়েজে সেখানে দেখা যাচ্ছে একদিকে যেরকম ব্রিটিশ ইস্ট ইন্ডিয়া কোম্পানির হোক বা ব্রিটিশ ইস্ট ইন্ডিয়া কোম্পানির কর্মচারীদের বিরোধিতা করছেন ঠিক অপর দিকে ওই চারটে নিউজ পেপার কিন্তু আবার ব্রিটিশ ইস্ট ইন্ডিয়া কোম্পানির প্রসঙ্গে কথা বলছেন তাদের সম্পর্কে ভালো ভালো কথা বলছেন অনেকে ধরছেন যে হয়তো কনওয়ালিসের বা ব্রিটিশ কোম্পানির অন্যান্য কর্মচারীদের মধ্যে একটা প্রভাব ছিল সুতরাং এখানে একটা জিনিস ভাবতে হবে হেকি সাহেব যেভাবে যেভাবে নিউজ পেপার গুলো পাবলিশ করে যাচ্ছে ঠিক সেভাবে সেভাবে কিন্তু ব্রিটিশ ইস্ট ইন্ডিয়া কোম্পানিও দেখছে যে তাদের সংক্রান্তে কিন্তু একটা নিউজ পেপার বলে একটা বিষয় রয়েছে যে তাদের বিরুদ্ধে কথা বলছে একটা প্রতিবাদ তৈরি করছে ফলে একের পর এক কিন্তু আইনও তৈরি হচ্ছে এবং সেগুলোকে জারি করা হচ্ছে নিউজ পেপারকে কন্ট্রোল করবার জন্য বা আরো ভালোভাবে বলতে পারা যায় আমাদের এই মিডিয়াকে কন্ট্রোল করার জন্য সুতরাং এটাও কিন্তু একটা আইনি ব্যাপার এবং তার পরবর্তীকালে কিন্তু আমরা দেখছি ব্রিটিশ ইস্ট ইন্ডিয়া কোম্পানি কিন্তু অনেক আইন পাস করছে আমার মনে হয় এদিক থেকে সুদীপা দিও যদি কিছু বলেন কারণ আমি যেহেতু ইতিহাসের লোক আমার দৃষ্টিভঙ্গি সবটা ইতিহাস কেন্দ্রিক ম্যাডাম রয়েছে ম্যাডাম জার্নালিজমের ম্যাডাম ম্যাডামও যদি কিছু একটু মন্তব্য করেন বা এই মতকে সমর্থন যদি করতে করছেন তার নিজস্ব মত আর কি আপনার আপনি যা বললেন একেবারেই সঠিক এবং যেরকম ইনসিডেন্ট গুলো হয়েছিল আমার ব্যক্তিগত ভাবে মনে হয় যে এই জেমস অগাস্টাস হিকির কাগজের উপরে ভিত্তি করেই ওয়ারেন হেস্টিংস এর ইমপিচমেন্ট এবং এলাইজা যে সুপ্রিম কোর্টের চিফ জাস্টিস ছিলেন এলাইজা এমপির ইমপিচমেন্ট সাবসিকুয়েন্টলি যে হয়েছিল ওনা ওগুলো হিকির রিপোর্টিং এর উপরেই কিন্তু বেস করে হয়েছিল so there must have been some laws uh, which had come into place because if they were not there then the impeachment and it was a impeachment of a of a british court impeaching their own governor general and their own chief justice huge thing so uh, this must have been the laws must have been in place otherwise it couldn't have been possible oshongko dhonnobad ma'am ebong sir dujon ke eto sundor kore ebong shohoj bhabe amader kache totthyo gulo tule dhorar jonno আমরা আরো বেশ কিছু প্রশ্ন পেয়েছি কিন্তু যেহেতু সময় খুবই সীমিত তাই আমরা সব প্রশ্নেরই উত্তর ম্যাডাম দেবেন কিন্তু ম্যাডামের মেল আইডি আমরা প্রোভাইড করে দেব এবং সরাসরি ম্যাডামের সঙ্গে যোগাযোগ করে প্রশ্নগুলো তুলে ধরার সুযোগ দর্শকদের কাছে থাকছে অনুষ্ঠান যেহেতু শেষের দিকে গড়াচ্ছে আমি স্টেজ হ্যান্ড ওভার করব শুভমকে শুভম ইউ আর ওয়েলকাম থ্যাংক ইউ শিউরি ফর গিভিং মি দ্য প্ল্যাটফর্ম as we are moving towards the end of our program now i would like to request our librarian madam madam vandana bosu to present her vote of thanks over to you vandana thank you shuli thank you shubham a good evening all associated with today's program this important and interesting lecture we have reached the end of the session and uh, the session is thanks We are grateful to Dr. Andrew Wotis, the author of Hickey's Bengal Gazette, the untold, untold story of India's first newspaper, for his lecture. Due to the time difference, it was not possible for him to attend this live event, but his recorded video lecture is so informative and interesting. Thank you, Dr. Wotis. Thank you very much for sharing uh, this rare and valuable information with us. in future we will try to arrange a live program with you thank you thank you very much
I'd like to special thanks to Shudita Bhattacharya, adjunct professor, Department of Science and Journalism, Brenner University, for her seamless cooperation to contacting Dr. Rotis and for sharing her thoughts. Thank you, madam. Uh, I am proud of Ms. Motushi Paul, Library Assistant, Brenner University, for her lecture on this interesting subject. Thank you, Motushi. Uh, next, I would like to thank our Honorable Chancellor Sir, Vice Chancellor Sir and Registrar Madam for their support to this type of program. Amraji continuous program organized So thank you all. And I would like to thank our HODs. Uh, Dr. Shatabdi Shom, Department of Media Science and Journalism, uh, Ms. Anandita Dash, Department of English and Literary Studies, Mr. Shubhachati Roy Chaudhuri. Uh, actually, one of the support chara, a department will support chara, actually the program ta asho bhaave, kintu goto na. So, always one of the support chen, a jenna amra mani shwa, for a library, Torosti Amra Puchon to thankful, Ishosa Department. Special thanks for Mr. Arno Basu, Assistant Professor Media Science and Journalism, and Ms. Anandita Dash, HOD Department of Chan Literary Studies, for their awesome voiceover. Ato Shundor voiceover or a BHL, Mani Etachuna Mother Program to Onikashi MD. Itamma the Kamramone Shobai Eta Bishash. So thank you, Mr. Ornu, and thank you, Madam Anunta. I would like to thank Mr. Rahul Shinha, Assistant Professor, Department of Multimedia, Orphan Ghosh, uh, Student of Multimedia, Ankit Datto, Student of Multimedia, Aditi Parmoka, Student of Multimedia, Rena University, and Shomi Chakraborty, Student of Multimedia, Rena University. For video editing, graphics, uh, logo, Ishamus to the Tonga video edit Korecho, logo, Nietzsche, graphics, Toyi Korecho, Ejunokin to Amade program, Ato Shundor Hulche. So, Shabai, thank you, Ebang Abushri Onupong, for taking it. Thank you very much, Onupong. Special thanks for Shubham Julie Mondon. Student of Media Science and Journalism, Brainerd University, for smooth conducting the whole program. Shubhavavam Shivli, Oshadharan Tora Shanchalan Korachish, Ejjana Anik Mundogatudhe. I would like to heartiest thanks for our library team and especially Amadir Bibla. After the program, Bibla Ver Mostish Koduto. O Kintu Amra Shavai Infants Dakai Chiki. কিন্তু ওর উদ্যোগটা কিন্তু এখানে সবথেকে বেশি এটা আমরা সবাই সব সময় স্বীকার করি এবং ওনাদের খুব মোটিভেট করেছে ব্যাপারটা নিয়ে এবং আমরা মোটিভেটেড হয়েছি তাই জন্যই হয়েছে কিন্তু মেইন কিন্তু ব্রেইন হলো এটা বিপ্লব সো थैंक यू বিপ্লব थैंक यू এবং পরবর্তী সময় আমরা আবার এই ধরনের অনুষ্ঠান করব তার জন্য নিশ্চয়ই সবার Registered and unregistered participants. Without whom the program would not have been successful. Participants Jodi Natha Kyamra Kono program kiki could the parvona. So Ode Juno, Oshunko Tonova, Atke Shava Yuko Sachin, Totiki Oshunko Tonova, Ebang Amra Porabuti Shama Jedo either and Kono Ushan Kole, Ashki Shavai Kamra Pashi Babu. So all of you, thank you very much. Thank you. You are most welcome, madam. Thank you so much. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am.